Perfect. You've actually won a little star. There we go. As you make my star, we'll go into the uh, T46, which are the arm amputees in the 200 meters. And you can see that in, we actually have a Cuban, and Cuba has a much bigger contingent than I'm, than I'm used to seeing. Gonzalez in, in lane seven is the guy to watch at 22.09 with the fastest season's best time. And that's also his PB, so it shows he's on, he's on good form. Uh, I'll just run through the, them for you. Then Yao of China, then it's Adet DG of uh, Nigeria, Aresti of Cyprus, Nascimento of Brazil, Patmore of Australia, Gonzalez Isidoria of Cuba, who uh, we think is the ones to watch, Nosolenko of Russia, and Zhao of China. So yes, uh, the, just looking at the form, he's, he would, he would, he's about two seconds faster than the, than the rest of the field. He is, and, and he's, he's certainly he's off the world record, which is held by Heath Francis of Australia. He broke it in Beijing in 2008. But that's not to say that that record isn't in jeopardy. The world record is 21.74, and Gonzalez is looking at a 22.09 as a, as a season's best and a personal best. And once again, the classification, this is the T46 final. T means track, and uh, 45 and 46 means that uh, there's an arm impairment. I'm just seeing Johansson Nascimento of uh, Brazil. And there's Simon Patmore of Australia. A lot of Australians in the crowd tonight. And they're getting a huge reaction. There's the Cuban. Bill Gonzalez. Yep. We think he's the one to, or is it to watch. Gonzalez is Isidoro. And there's a Nosolenko of Russia. And outside him will be Zhao of China. You can look at, uh, at Nosolenko in, uh, in lane eight. It looks like he has his, he's putting his prosthetic on there. It might have been a little deceiving for people wondering why he's carrying a baton. But it was actually his prosthetic, which is true to your question before to of, do about weight the balance. Weighting, yeah. Yeah. So he's. So it's almost it's a prosthetic, but it's almost like ballast in some ways. And, and we see the Chinese runner in in the outside lane. I mean, he's he's more severely embedded. So he's he's the T45, and and the person with one arm would be the the T46. Right. But they compete against each other in the T46 final, so it's a combined class. Yeah. And sometimes that's just based on numbers. So here they go. We've seen Zhao of China in lane nine. We're watching the Cuban, though, in lane seven. That's uh, Gonzalez Isidoria. And as expected, he's uh, absolutely flying. The Aussie's going well as well. And on his inside, it's the Nascimento of Brazil. It's Nascimento of Brazil against the Cuban. Brazil against Cuba. And his, this is where the Cuban will come back, is it? No, the Brazilian's no. going to get him. He's the Brazilian's going to get him. Nascimento of Brazil, 24-year-old, beats the 21-year-old Cuban. And that's a real surprise because his uh, season's best, 22.27, as against uh, Gonzalez Isidoria's 22.09. And that's a great result for Brazil. And that's uh, probably the first real shock of the night here at the Paralympics in London in the final of the 200 meters, the T46. And you can see where Gonzalez is the Doria, who was just tying up, started tying up at about 150 where he really got challenged. And it's a world record. It's yes. a world record, 22.05. And that's why he beat the Cuban, because somehow or other, the Paralympics come around every four years, and somehow or other, he's managed to knock two seconds off his, uh, off his PB to, to win that. And uh, the Australian can't believe it. So, and that's Simon Patmore of Australia with the news that he has been confirmed as the bronze medalist. So it's gold to Brazil, silver to Cuba, bronze to uh, Australia. And uh, he was just 0 0.04 seconds ahead of Aresti of Cyprus, who set a regional record. And then Yao of China, 22.81, with the season's best for him. So Brazil, Cuba and Australia getting the medals there. But... Uh, Ooh. He just fell over very heavily. Yeah, but I think the pain is, is dulled by the bronze medal. That, that, that makes the pain a whole lot better. For Nascimento, uh, I think that one of the things that can be a little bit deceiving is that he is actually in the, in the 45 class, which is why he's running. So, sorry, I've got to interrupt you. 
he's asking his girlfriend to marry him. Talita, marry me, question mark. And he's Brazilian, so I, uh, initially I didn't understand what it said because it would have been in, in Portuguese. In Portuguese, I was going to say it would be in Brazilian, but actually they speak Portuguese there. But it, uh, underneath uh, was written out in English.